Hey, don't shoot that here. Don't do it. Don't you better not. You better not do it. <laughs> Are you serious, really? <laughs> All right, I can see you're really excited. And I bet you're just pumped up for this new year, excited about all the possibilities that 2018 is gonna bring, aren't you? Well, of course, it's January. I'm ready to take on the world, conquer my goals, and make this the best year yet. Awesome, so you figured out all of your goals for this year, right? Yeah, I wanna finally break free from the grind and be financially independent. Okay, well, that's great. So let's get down to making that idea of financial freedom into more of a goal, okay? Because a goal really should be specific, and I mean specific in three ways. The first way is being measurable. So what will it take you to get to your goal of financial freedom? Is it $3,000 a month? Is it 5,000 euros a month? Is it 10,000 yen a month? Okay, you gotta be really specific. Now, second is let's break it down to what that means, what that really means, making that kind of money. So if it's earning $10,000 a month, you can get 100 customers every single month and charge them $100. That'll get you to your goal. Or maybe you get 1,000 people to pay you $10 per month on recurring, so they get billed every month. It'll feel much more attainable once you break it down. And the last thing, which is really important, is setting a deadline. So when do you wanna achieve your goal? How about in the middle of the year, okay? So June 1st, and make sure to create little milestones along the way so you can check yourself and make sure you're on the right track and you'll feel the progress that way. So milestones could be launching your first campaign, getting your first sale, earning your first thousand dollars, and so on. Okay, awesome. Now I'm all set to reach my goals. All right, so not so quick there. The sad truth is most people give up their New Year's resolutions in, can you guess the month? January, right about now, okay? A little bit into the new year and that really bums me out. So what you're saying is that what you want the new year to look like isn't as important as what you plan to do every day to make those goals a reality? Yes, that is exactly right. People start out excited for the new year, excited about their goals, their resolutions, and their motivation just fizzles. And it's because they failed to do something that we're gonna talk about in this video. If you're watching this channel right now, one of your goals is probably to generate an income online. And my question to you is, how are you gonna do that? Well. For one thing, I'm going to be watching this channel every week. All right, so that is a really good start. And that brings us to why we created this channel and why we're giving you new episodes every single week. And the reason is because we're gonna be creating or hope to be creating in you what are called successful habits. Well, what's the best way to do that? I already have a job. I'm tired when I come home. I have to make dinner and run errands and keep up with my friends and my hobbies. How can I also find time to work on an online business? I get this all the time and you might feel like your day is full, but you likely have unproductive habits that you can switch out for productive ones. Like, I bet you spend time watching your favorite shows. Almost everyone does. In fact, the average American adult watches three to four hours of TV every single day and spends another two hours on social media. So what if you can take that time, or actually scratch that, take just a portion of it, because there's nothing wrong with chilling and watching your favorite show, and take, so take a portion of that time and focus it on building productive habits, like learning strategies and applying those strategies to help grow your online business. The trick with habits is you wanna do them consistently, every single day at the same time of day. So Milana, I bet you don't forget to brush your teeth or have your morning cup of coffee, do you? Forget my morning cup of coffee? Are you crazy? No way. All right, so the reason why you don't forget those things and a ton more every single day is that you're consistently doing them and have been doing those for a long time. So what I want you to do is find time in your schedule, maybe it's after dinner, and dedicate one hour. 
okay? Just one. Let's call it your power hour to your online ventures. That's what you're dedicating it for. So set an alarm, schedule it on your calendar, write it on post-it and put it on your fridge so that it's an activity you have to do. See, here's the trick. Reaching your goals should not be about just working towards them when you happen to have the time, okay? You need to dedicate time towards reaching your goals and make that time a priority towards your business ventures, towards the activities that help you propel yourself towards your goals. You're right. Maybe I don't need to watch that second episode of Stranger Things, but I'm so tired at the end of the day. That's why I always have a hard time focusing. Of course, and maybe you feel like you're too tired to you know, create these successful habits, and it'll feel hard to keep it up consistently, at least in the beginning. Because the great thing about habits is that they become easy and you start applying them almost on autopilot. So if you're an early bird, consider trying to dedicate that power hour before the start of your regular day. My point is that you're always gonna be able to find that hour. So that kind of brings me back to my college days and in my dorm room when I was working on my ClickBank business. See, that's where it all got started. And I would finish all my studies by around 10 p.m., 11 p.m., and then spend the next few hours trying to make money online, just trying to figure out how to get this computer to send me money on the internet. Wow, it's hard to believe that several years ago you were just like me, trying to get started with the dream of making money on the internet. Yeah, it all starts with building successful habits. And in the future episodes, when we talk about strategies for you to implement concrete things about traffic, about funnels, about real things that help you drive sales and drive money, it's all gonna be in vain if you aren't consistently putting in work towards building your future. That's the truth. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I'm going to share when I'm dedicating my power hour. And for those of you watching, comment when you'll be taking your power hour below. That's a great idea, Milana. And after everyone drops a comment about when they're gonna be putting in their power hour, I also want you to put in your goal as well, right next to it. So make sure to do that, then subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on next week's episode. And that's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one. We'll see you later. <laughs>